artificial insemination and gestation of multiparous cells. Excuse me, because it's very noisy, because now we are in the war detection, and in this moment, Basilio, the farmer, is working with the war stimulation, okay? And here you can see the management, this facility, we have a lot of boars in this facility, and in this facility, our animals only stay from winning to artificial insemination. After this short period, period of time, we are moving to cage where our animals stay from artificial insemination until day 28 of the station if these animals are pregnant, okay? Our animals stay here, as I said to you, from winning to artificial insemination period. And this is the facility where we are focused in the boar stimulation with a lot of animals, with a lot of boars, with a lot of light, as you can see, on the heat of the animals to increase the intensity of, of the light and to, to work as well as possible here in this area. Now, Basilio introduced the winning sows in the park because yesterday was the winning day in this park, this Sunday, and now introduced to stimulate the heat, the heat and to reduce the winning to estrus interval. Okay, and after this management, close to the boards, okay, as you can see here, we introduce again in the crates, and after this short period of time, and we move again the sows to the crates, okay, you can see here the management. Tomorrow, we repeat this management, okay, our animals, our sows are introduced in the parks again, very close to the boards, and on Wednesday, we start with the normal management, and the sows stay in the crate, not in the park. Excuse me, because it's very noisy, okay? On Wednesday, we start with the normal management, our animals stay, our sows stay in the crate, and the boar is here to stimulate and to increase the boar detection and to increase the number of hits and reduce the winning estrus interval but it's very important to reduce the non productive days and increase the number of cycles per sow per year okay this is the second video of the gestation groups okay of, of the part of artificial insemination the crates management and the park the gestation the welfare management okay this is the second video okay now we are in the crates as i showed to you we inseminate our animals and increase the boar stimulation in special facilities only for this short period of time, from winning to artificial insemination period. We are working with a lot of boars in this station, but now after this artificial insemination, we move always our sows, not our fields. Remember, I showed you in the previous videos, we move our sows that comes from the winning to these crates. And in these crates, our animals always stay until day, until day 28. After the scan, if our animals are positive to the scan, we are moving to the gestation groups. But until this short period of time, until from artificial insemination to day 28, we are working here in these facilities to work perfectly in the heat detection if our animals repeat in heat. To work perfectly in the feed intake, as you can see here, for example, or at least I hope you can detect, we are working with the fields at different levels to recuperate the body conditions of our sows. This is a very important point because we introduce a lot of piglets to our sows in the farming facilities. Remember that we are winning more than 16 piglets per sow per farrow. Not all the piglets are winning with the sow, because we are working with nursery sows, okay, remember? But we are losing body condition in the farrow win facilities with this milk capacity and with this winning capacity. And this is the reason for, for our animals stay in the crates. And we are working with the feeders to try to control the body conditions, recuperate the body conditions of our animals before move our sows to the gestation groups. As I said to you, this farm is a farm with more, 
1,400 shows, more or less. We are working in batches every week, and in these batches, we inseminate close to 70 sows because we have a capacity of 64 farrows per week. And okay, here our animals stay less than four weeks. Okay, this is the reason for we have this capacity. And as I said to you several times, after these trades, we move to the gestation groups that I show you in the next video of this part. Okay, here you can see the same, we are working with light, it's very important for us. And here we have a lot of boards, we have more boards in the uh, facilities to increase from, from the winning to artificial insemination period, we have a lot of boards. And here we are using this part, these facilities, to separate six animals with several diseases, with laminate sows, to reduce the mortality and to improve the welfare of these animals and introduce the right treatment to these animals, okay? With an individual feeder, individual drinker, and with a special management when we are working about antibiotics and treatments for these animals to reduce the mortality and maintain the replacement percentage less than 50%. As I said to you, it's very important for me to maintain a health status as, as correctly as we can do in the, in the farms. Okay. This is the third video on the second part. Now we are in the gestation group. You can see we have two different systems of parts. Here is the, is the, the, the first one with crates. Uh, in this case, our sows can enter and go out uh, of, the, of the crate when the animals want. It's a free access. Okay, and here you know better than me that in the welfare system, our animals stay here from the day 28 until the until they, they go to the farm facilities. Okay, and uh, it's not a special. It's a very important period in the gestation of the sow, but it's not a special when we are talking about facilities. We only maintain our animals here. We are working in the vaccine programs, mainly in the day 60 and 90. Mainly 90 when we are talking about multiparous sows. And if it's possible for us, okay, as I said to you, it's a free access, but sometimes we can isolate one animal because we need to increase or reduce the feed intake. And it's very important to recuperate the body conditions. But you know better than me that this period is very important if it's possible to recuperate in the first month of gestation. And after this period, we introduce the animals in the groups working in the same body conditions. If you remember, we inseminate in every batch 70 animals because our target is 64 farrows per, per week, per batch. And this is the reason for what we are working in different different parts every week and we are trying to, to introduce the animals in the same body condition in, in, in every part. Now I want to show you the other system of parts because in the other systems we are not working with free access crates. Okay? But as I said to you it's a normal facility. Uh, more or less it's not it's not a cheap facility because the free access Stables, the free access rates are, are expensive, but I think it's a good management to, to try to maintain our animals separated when it's necessary, and they are free when, when, when it's, it's necessary all the time. Okay, and it's, we are working with the welfare legislation, with the welfare laws, and but for me it's a good system because we are able to isolate animals when it's necessary to increase the welfare of special animals. This is the fourth video of the gestation part of the presentation. Okay, now we are in the other facilities when we are talking about gestation group. As you can see, more or less the system is the same. It's very similar, it's a free access grade. Okay, the facility is different, but the concept of the gestation group is, is the same because we are working in this farm with the free access system. Maybe in a very close future is banned, we don't know, because in the next year we have a new European Union regulation related with the welfare and related with the use of crates in the animals. But we'll see in, in the future, but maybe it's banned or not, we'll see. Okay, but now in this part we are working with this system 
and it's very easy work with these facilities for us because when it's necessary we can isolate individual souls as I said to you in the other in the other gestation group facilities okay all the animals are free can go into and out to the crate when when it's uh, necessary for the animals but sometimes it's necessary to close and separate several animals because maybe there are in worse condition or these animals has like problems or other diseases and we can isolate to improve, improve the performance and try to give the best farrowing rate separating these animals and avoid loose gestation in these animals with the worst body conditions or with several problems in the most cases related with laminis. Okay, and this is the fifth video of the gestation area and here I want to see the management of the board, it's very important. Okay, this is the board and it's very important the human contact with the animals because this necessary to improve the management of our animals, the partner, the design. perfect management and the perfect interaction between humans and animals to improve the quality of our management and to improve all the numbers in our farm and to improve the world.